In today's video, I'm using really wet poi. I left them out in the rain. They're cold and wet, and this is how much I love all of you and how much I love poi. I'm willing to use wet, cold poi to teach you how to uh, further change your right from your left. And actually, we're gonna go through what I think is one of the most important things you can do, especially early on in your poi dancing. Um, and if you haven't, to come back to it later on. And this is a major part of uh, left-to-right um, freedom, free to, freeing your right from your left. And first, I'll start with the final goal. The final goal is to be able to do this, to be dancing freely, and as you dance, to be able to reverse the right, reverse the left, reverse the right, reverse the left, reverse the right, reverse the left, reverse the right. No matter what's happening and where you're turning and where your poi are, to keep reversing right, reversing left, reversing right, reversing left. It takes a while to get there. But this kind of gives you a real freedom to play between the modes, so you're dancing along. And it's always going to be, you know, reversing one. Or not always, but often. It's going to be how you switch between the modes. And what you want is to be able to do that in the middle of anything with either hand. So A, that lets you really go between the modes beautifully and freely, but also the progression of getting there is how you fundamentally give your right and left freedom from each other. And it can be, uh, it can take a little time, but it's actually, especially in the beginning, it's one of those things that will come kind of quickly if you take a good approach and a somewhat patient approach. So we're gonna do it like this. Just get both your poi going, and maybe you can start forward together. No, actually, take a step back. We're gonna really start from the beginning. One poi at a time, I want you to play with this. Get it spinning, and just do a nice stall and reverse. Stall and reverse. Stall, reverse, stall, until you can do a loop, reverse, loop, reverse, loop, reverse. And you want it to be really smooth. I sometimes say, pretend you've got a little mouse sleeping in a hammock. Right? And you don't want to wake it up, right? It's just a cute little mouse, and it's having a little nap. And you're, you're like, you have to spin it around, but you don't want to wake it up. So you have to be really delicate, and reversing very smoothly. And you're listening to it, like, snore away. Right? And you want to be able to do that with either poi. Reverse, and reverse, and reverse, and reverse. And you can do it on a wall plane in front of you, or at your side. And ultimately, you're also going to want to do it behind your head and behind your back. But of course, that will develop uh, with a little extra time. So you want a real feeling. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Uh, and even just swinging. A nice, smooth, don't wake up the mouse swing. Your whole arm, with little swings, right? down low, up high, yeah. maybe even some pendulum swings. All right. Then you're going to do this. Get your right poi spinning. It's going to keep spinning forwards. And at first, just get the left swinging. See how that feels. For some, if you're really new at poi, just this can be really challenging. So you start spinning, and you can even just kind of go, eh. give yourself a little nudge, and just somehow get it going. Right? And slowly you'll get there. It can really be a funny thing. Right. Then do it the other way. Get the left, the left spinning. Start with the right just hanging. Then you can just kind of go, Achoo! and it starts to swing until you get this feeling of where the right's just swinging and the left is just spinning. And don't worry if that's awkward at first. It's supposed to be. It can feel really weird. But here's the thing. If today it's awkward, somehow in your sleep, something will happen. Tomorrow morning you'll wake up and it'll be easier. It really, some, you know, it really something happens in your, in your dreams that makes it easier. So this is step one. Being able to have the right spin while the left swings. The left spin while the right swings. And of course you want the swinging poi 
to be, sorry, the spinning point to go either way. So also my right can be spinning backwards or my left swings, or my left can be spinning backwards or my right swings. This is step one. When all that's working on your wheel planes, you can try all of that on your wall planes. So you start with just one spinning, and somehow you can even just rock your body to get it swinging. And uh, for me, I find it was easiest to put more of my attention in the spinning. So I got my, the yellow point, the spinning point, I'm really keeping that going. And I'm kind of just mm, somehow getting the other one going. And I'm keeping a lot of my attention on the spinning point to keep a nice steady rhythm until this one's going. Then I try the other way until I can do it like this. And again, you want the spinning point going either way. And it, you know, this is something a few minutes a day for a little while, and it'll, you'll really see it kick in, into shape. It don't, if it feels really, really difficult the first day, don't worry, it'll come. So if you're going to make progress with all of that, you can go to this. You get them both spinning, and I'm going to keep my left, it's just going to keep going. What I'm going to do with my right is I'm going to come back to stall the right, reverse it, Stall the right and reverse it. Stall, reverse, stall, reverse, back to this. Stall, reverse, stall, reverse, stall, reverse, but the left is spinning. And again, it, sometimes people, if it does, they get really frustrated when it doesn't work right away, but it's just going to take playing with it a little bit. You're going to have to keep coming back, do the right, if you keep doing the right, it's all about muscle memory. Right? If this gets in your muscle memory enough, It'll eventually work when you've got the other one spinning. And it might be, you know, forget it, come back tomorrow. A few times. And all of a sudden it'll click. You'll really see progress if you just do it a little bit at a time. So my left is spinning, my right is doing a loop and reverse, loop and reverse, loop and reverse. Then the right goes, the left can go stall and reverse, stall and reverse, stall and reverse, stall and reverse. And of course, whenever you're doing stuff like this on your own, remember the phrase, just do the math, which means just go through the variations. So if this one's spinning forwards, also make sure you can do it spinning backwards. Same, with the left going backwards, I can start both backwards and the right falls out. And when you're first trying these, what can happen, you get them both going and you can just think, okay, the left, the yellow poi, I'm just going to focus on it going, and the right point, I'm just going to go, let it die. Just let it, you know, it'll swing. It has to, right? If you're going along and your right point just goes, like somebody shoots it, it'll just fall into a swing. Right? And that will teach your body, that will teach you. Start them both together, and then my left point, it's just going to go, and when I do that, my focus is on the right. I do 10% of my focus just tells the left point, okay, collapse, and I keep the right going. So you get to a point where you can do this. And then the left. And also with each point going backwards. And again, just a little bit at a time. And it's gonna feel hard because you're doing something really important. You're separating your right from your left. It's really a base level skill. So it'll take a little time. When that's working, you do all the same things in a, on a wall plane in front of you. And that little songs help. I always go Actually, I think I have a better song usually. That's kind of a lame song. Um, hopefully, I'll think of the other song. And if you want to get trickier, um, you know, in the beginning, it's wheel plane, swall plane in front of you. The next step, if you're rolling along, is going to be starting all these things behind you, right? You get them on this plane, and you go reverse the right, reverse the right, reverse the right, reverse the right. Left, reverse, the left, reverse, the left, reverse, the left, reverse, the left. Da, da, da. And then, with your arms crossed, from here, 
reverse the right. And this might be weeks away. This is not something you need to do in a weekend. Like I'm showing you a kind of a long-term progression here. That'll, uh, you know, so you keep knowing what to practice. Reverse the left, reverse the left, reverse the left, reverse the left. Uh, so, I mean, we've got some weeks, weeks of homework. Now, where you want to get with each position is playing reverse to the right, reverse to the left, reverse to the right, reverse to the left. So that's when you come back to both poi going, and you go. Right reverses, left reverses, right reverses, left reverses, right reverses, left reverses, right reverses, left reverses, right reverses. With any rhythm, it could be a slow rhythm, having a few beats between each one, or boom, 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 boom. Kind of quick reverses. When you can do it on your wheel planes, right, left, right, left. You do it on a wall plane in front of you. Reverse the right, reverse the left, reverse the right, reverse the left. And you can go over your arm, under your arm. You can stall out to the side. You can even stall around your arm like this. And you can really play with that. Then, if once that's all working behind you, reverse the right, reverse the left, reverse the right, left, right, and left, and right, and left, right, and left, right, and left. And then with your arms crossed, right, and left, right, and left, right, and left, right, and left, and you'll even think of things I'm not thinking of, right? I mean, find your own. Of course, one in front, one behind, maybe, right? Left, right, left, right, left. You'll keep finding new ways to play with it beyond what you know I can show you in this video. Then ultimately, what you want to get to with all of this is coming back to playing freely. You get some music on, you start just jamming, and you start playing reverse to the right, Reverse the left, reverse 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 the right, reverse the left. And as you play, you'll just start having that freedom to change one poi without the other anywhere the poi happens to be, no matter what you're doing. And this is really where you open up something beautiful. It can really help to put on a piece of music you really like and say, I actually do it on the rhythm. Because right? that'll, that'll force you to do it in places you aren't used to doing it. Um, if you're just really free and kind of jamming, and if you're doing it like the first beat of every bar, when that comes, no matter what you're doing, reverse the next poi. And you're bound to you know, mess up because you're bound to hit something. You know, you're going along, you're, you're getting a four beat behind here, and you boom. And you have to, that's where you might have to reverse. And then you're going to realize, oh, I need to learn to do it right here. Right? I remember that happening to me. Being, oh, cool, okay, I'm going to learn from windmill. Learning to reverse from right behind my head. Right? And you'll keep finding these new places where you have to open up that freedom. Uh, so, um, that's something to play with. Um, it's a long-term goal, jamming freely, playing reverse right, reverse left. What you'll keep finding is you'll keep having to go back and work on the simple things, come back to things like this. Okay? And you can also, you know, go beyond like this, you know, the box of what I'm playing with here. You can also, if I've got my left going, I can also play with, you know, just going back and forth, going up and down, playing here. I can grab it and start making funny shapes. I can make it go like a hot air balloon. Right? You want this free, I can go back and forth over it like this. I can go in this plane. I can circle around my head. You want, you know, one poi is on a rhythm, keeping its plane, and think of anything and everything you can do with the other poi. At first it won't work, but slowly it will. And that's where your freedom comes from. So I hope that gives you a bunch to play with, and uh, I'll be back soon, hopefully with drier poi, and uh, th for some more ideas of all of this. So enjoy, and by the way, thanks. The Play Poi, the future Play Poi campaign continues to go well, and I am 
really like loving how much you guys are loving me. Uh, more soon. Thank <laughs> you.